Let's look at storing selections as additional channels, which we can then use for masking. OK, so first I'm going to move across to the Layers panel up here, and then down here move across to the Channels panel. So if I scroll to the bottom of the Channels panel, notice I have Pixel Selection. So let's create an initial selection. I'll use the Flood Select tool here, and I'll just click drag over the background here, moving my mouse to the right to increase the tolerance until I have selected the sky. So notice the thumbnail on pixel selection now reflects my current selection. And what I can do is right click this and choose create spare channel. So this has created a spare channel based off that selection down here. I can right click it and choose rename. And let's call this sky. So now let's say I want to create an additional spare channel for the foreground. The easiest way to achieve this would be to invert my current selection. So I can choose invert here. Okay, and notice the thumbnail has changed. So that's now a selection of the foreground. Once again, let's right click create spare channel and rename our second spare channel to foreground. So what can we then do with these spare channels. Well, if I just go to select and deselect to get rid of that current marquee selection, we can of course bring back these selections at any point by right clicking on, for example, the sky channel and choosing load to pixel selection. And you can of course add, subtract or intersect with the current selection as well. So I could choose load to pixel selection and get my selection of the sky back. But let's look at a different purpose. Let's look at loading these channels into alpha masks. So if I create a new adjustment layer, for example, a brightness and contrast adjustment, let me just increase the contrast and the brightness. What I can then do is right click the sky spare channel and choose load to brightness and contrast adjustment alpha. Okay, so this has now loaded that selection as a mask into the alpha channel of that adjustment and notice it's only affecting the sky. We can now do the same for the foreground channel. So I'll add a curves adjustment, right click foreground, choose load to curves adjustment alpha and now when I start to manipulate the curves dialog here you'll see it's only affecting the foreground. So we're not just limited to pixel selections. We can also create spare channels from channel data. So if I select the background pixel layer, I have my red, green, blue, and alpha channels here. I can right click background blue and choose create spare channel. Once again, I'll navigate to the bottom, right click that channel, choose rename and call it blue. So now if I add another adjustment layer, for example, a black and white adjustment, I can then right click that blue spare channel and load it to the alpha of the black and white adjustment and then just further tweak these sliders. So we can take the black and white adjustment and rather than just create an entirely black and white image, we can instead achieve a muted tonal look by just masking it to the blue channel information. So there we go, just a quick overview of storing selections and channel data as spare channels, then reusing them for masking.